One time for your mind, two time for your soul. It's your man Shizzle with the whistle. You already know. And what I want to do is talk about something that I saw on the internet the other day. It wasn't disturbing, but sometimes you have to get another perspective to make your brain understand what the fuck went on. If you keep on thinking on your own. Now, what I'm talking about is I saw my idol, Melly Mel, the one that wanted, that made me want to rhyme the way that I did, kind of say that when the streets got into the rap game, it kind of fucked it up. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's what I perceive from his conversation. But one thing I have to let you know, Mel, see, we loved y'all, but we weren't going to dress like you. And if you want to think about it, you were bringing the streets in your messages. And that's what made me want to do because you was talking about the streets and what the streets had popping. A child is born with no state of mind, blind, to the, you know what I'm saying? Roaches in the back, took kiss in the alley with a baseball bat. You bring the streets to the game. All right, just because y'all dressed differently and wanted to be entertainers like the Temptations, we didn't want that for us. We wanted to do what we were doing. We, we looked at y'all, we loved the craft that you were doing, but to dress like y'all was not in our thing. And for you to say, for me to perceive, not saying that's what you said, but for you to say that the streets coming to the game kind of fucked up hip-hop that's kind of fucked up you know what i'm saying because what we did after your era with the rap game was started being political activists with the chuck d's with the with the poor righteous teachers the ex clans and things like that so it wasn't just it was more of a balance than it is nowadays now you just get more fuckery but at least back then, we had a balance. We had the Chuck D's. You had ex-clans. You had poor righteous teachers. You had brand Nubians. You had these people who were doing the positive. You understand? And so, for me to hear you say that, that's kind of disappointing. That's like you pointing out, because I came out street. I bring the streets into the game. So, for my idol... That made me want to do the shit that I do to sit there and say that. It's like, damn, is that what that nigga think of me? Because I bring the streets in the game because running them dressed like they were in the streets. I dressed like I was in the streets. Every day you see me, I was in a Puma suit, fucking Kango, and some fucking sneakers. Period. When I stepped on stage, that was the same shit. Because y'all had groups that were five and six of you motherfuckers okay so y'all had to have some kind of shit going on when we started coming out we was holding down whole songs by ourselves so ain't no motherfucking dance moves and shit like that so we had to motherfucking do what we had to do so it's no disrespect to you my idol but like i said sometimes you have to hear it from another person's perspective to understand what the fuck was going on. Some shit we just blinded to. People tell me stories about me and I'd be like, what? I did that? What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? You can be in the same place, occupy the same space at the same time and see two different things. Okay? Now imagine if we kept dressing like y'all. What would what, what would have hit me? You know what I'm saying? Come on, what, what would have happened? Everybody gained their own individuality. It wasn't a group thing anymore. It was an I'm an individual. Y'all had the group thing going on. The Furious Five. You had the Fearless Four. You had the Treacherous Three. Then you get to solo artists like LL Cool J, Big Daddy Kane, Rakim, myself. We couldn't dress like you guys and do the steps that y'all do. You know, we got dances and whatnot. But even at that point, we was bringing the street to the game, just like y'all did, all right? So, Mel, no disrespect to you, but think about it in another perspective, okay? We were doing what y'all showed us what to fucking do. We just did it our way, like New York niggas do, is all I'm saying. Love you, Mel, all day, but I just had to say that shit.